Welcome to the Ultimate Sports Blog Podcast. Today is Sunday, March 25th, 2018. Today I'm going to recap last night's Elite Eight games and pick today's Elite Eight games. Recap last night's Women's Sweet 16 games and pick today's Women's Elite Eight games. Recap last night's NBA action as well. Let's look ahead to tonight's action. Two NBA star point guards that are injured. And let's get to it. Loyola Chicago is in the Final Four. The 11 seeded Loyola Chicago Ramblers defeated the 9 seeded Kansas State Wildcats 78 62 in the South Region to advance to the Final Four. Sister Jeans in the Final Four. Ben Richardson put up 23 in the win. Xavier Sneed put up 16 in the feet. Great season for Bruce Weber's team going to the Elite Eight. I don't think anybody expected that before the season. And Bruce Weber should be proud of his team as the Ramblers of Loyola Chicago advance to the Final Four. Joining them then in the Final Four is the Michigan Wolverines as they defeated the Florida State Seminoles 58-54 in the West Regional Final. Good from the Wolverines and John Beeline. Charles Matthews put up 17 in the win. Phil Kofer put up 16 in the feet. Great run for Leonard Hamilton's team making it this far as well. Today you have one seed of Villanova against three seed of Texas Tech in the East Regional Final. The Wildcats are coming off that impressive win over West Virginia. The Red Raiders are coming off the win over the Isaac Hasless Purdue Boilermakers. I think the Red Raiders can score the Wildcats, but the Wildcats are just better, led by Mikhail Bridges, excuse me, and Jalen Brunson as the Wildcats advance to the Final Four for the second time in three years. In the Midwest region, you have the Duke Blue Devils against the Kansas Jayhawks. This is another great marquee matchup. The Blue Devils are coming off that win over the Syracuse Orange. The Jayhawks are coming off that win over the Clemson Tigers. This is the regional final a lot of people wanted. And give me the Blue Devils, led by that Fab Five of Marvin Bagley, Trevon Duvall, Grayson Allen, Wendell Carter, and Gary Trent to go to the Final Four, and of course, Coach K. And I won't be surprised if Kansas were to somehow win this game because they have two talented guys in Devontae Graham and Malik Newman. So give me the Blue Devils to advance to the Final Four for the, fir- to the, f- for the first time since 2015. Sweet 16 women's action yesterday. Two-seeded South Carolina defeated 11-seeded Buffalo in the Albany region, 79-63. Great run for the Buffalo Bulls. Asia Wilson put up 20 in the win. Sierra Dillard put up 29 in the feet. One-seeded UConn defeated five-seeded Duke, 72-59 in the Albany region. As the Huskies advance to yet another Elite Eight, 35-0 in the year now. Nafisa Collier put up 16 in the win. Liana Odom put up 22 in defeat as the Huskies advance to the Elite Eight and will play South Carolina. In the Spokane region, one-seeded Notre Dame defeated four-seeded Texas A&M, 90-84. Texas A&M had the lead at halftime in this game. Enrique Ogumbale put up 27 in the win, and Chennedy Carter put up 31 in defeat as the Irish advance to the Elite Eight. Two-seeded Oregon defeated 11-seeded Central Michigan, 83-69 in the Spokane Regional. Good win for the Ducks, eliminating the Cinderella. Ruthie Hebbard put up 23 in the win, and Tanara Moore put up 23 in defeat as the Ducks advanced to the Elite Eight. Today's picks, you have one-seeded Louisville against six-seeded Oregon State in the Lexington Regional Final. The Cardinals are the better team. I like them to advance here to the Final Four. Although I won't be surprised if Oregon State somehow advances. Kansas City Regional Final. One-seeded Mississippi State against three-seeded UCLA. Give me Mississippi State here because they're just a better team. I won't be that shocked if UCLA pulls us off because they're a talented team in their own right. 
NBA. Some notable results from last night. And a couple important ones as well. The 76ers defeated the Timberwolves 120-108. Good win for the Sixers. They improved to 42-30. and Minnesota drafts to 42-32. and Joel Embiid put up 19 in the win. Andrew Wiggins put up 16 in defeat. The Pistons defeated the Bulls 117-95. The Pistons now 33 and 40. Chicago drops to 24 and 49. Anthony Talavera put up 25 in the win. Denzel Valentine put up 18 in defeat. The Magic defeated the Suns 105-99 in the Battle of Tankers. The Magic are now 22 and 51. The Suns are now 19 and 55. Aaron Gordon put up 29 points, 11 rebounds, and 8 assists in the win. Almost had a triple-double. Josh Jackson put up 18 in defeat. The Rockets defeat the Pelicans, 114-91. Impressive win for the Houston Rockets as they improved to 59-14. New Orleans drops to 43-31. and Houston's going to end up with that one seed with all these injuries to the Warriors. James Harden put up 27 in the win. Anthony Davis put up 25 in defeat. The Lakers defeated the Grizzlies 193. The Lakers improved to 32 and 40. Memphis drops to 19 and 54. Kyle Kuzma put up 25 in the win. Andrew Harrison put up 20 in defeat. The Hornets beat the Mavericks 102 98. The Hornets are now 33 and 41. The Mavs are now 22 and 51. Kemba Walker put up 24 in the win. Dennis Smith put up 21 in defeat. Tonight's slate you have, or today's slate I should say, the Cavaliers at the Nets. The Spurs at the Bucks, the Heat at the Pacers, the Clippers at the Raptors, the Knicks at the Wizards, the Trailblazers at the Thunder, the Hawks at the Rockets, Jazz at the Warriors. The Warriors have a bunch of injuries right now. Draymond Green's coming back, and that's what I'm going to get to next. Steph Curry's out for three weeks with a grade 3 MCL sprain. They expect him to be ready for the playoffs. Kyrie Irving's out with an injury of his own as well, and they expect him to be back. For the playoffs, he's getting some, like, not surgery, but he's getting something done to his knee. He's going to be out for a couple of weeks as well, Kyrie Irving. I am postponing my MLB redraft from last year until tomorrow's podcast because I didn't have time to finish it. I hope you guys have a nice day, everybody.